the most popular dating site of this month for singles and personals. Check out the link in description box below. Two internet touts bought pounds 4 million worth of tickets to sought-after events, such as Ed Sheeran gigs. Two internet touts bought millions of pounds of tickets for everything from Ed Sheeran concerts to the Chelsea Flower Show, then sold them on at inflated prices, a court heard. Peter Hunter and David Smith exploited the love and passion of real fans through their fraudulent online business, it is alleged. They used computer software which allowed them to make multiple applications to primary selling sites such as Ticketmaster, posing as individuals and concealing their true identities, jurors were told. The pair harvested the tickets in large numbers, then sold them through the big four resale sites via GoGo, Get Me In, StubHub and Seatwave Jonathan Sandiford, prosecuting, told Leeds Crown Court. In total they bought up tickets for more than pounds 4 million and then sold them on for more than pounds 10 million, it was said. Tickets for sporting events and West End shows including Harry Potter and the Cursed Child were also bought, the court heard. Mr. Sandiford said. The two defendants were effectively internet ticket touts and they were also dishonest fraudsters motivated by greed who, over a number of years, exploited the love and passion that many people have for their favorite pop music artists and bands in order to milk them for profit. The alleged fraud was a double win for Hunter and Smith, who traded as ticket whiz and BZZ because it reduced the number of face value tickets and drove up prices on resale sites, he said. Between June 2015 and December 2017, they spent more than pounds 4 million buying tickets from primary ticket sites, the court heard. The prosecutor said Axis was the site they spent most money on, followed by Ticketmaster, with more than pounds 1 million spent with both. More than 30,000 tickets were bought through Axis, it was said. In the same period the pair sold 10.8 pound million worth of tickets on secondary sites, jurors heard. Mr. Sandiford said that when National Trading Standards searched the defendant's home, they found 112 payment cards and 37 names, including their own. They also allegedly discovered more than 290 email addresses associated with identities linked to the defendants, which were set to automatically forward emails to a single address connected to their firm. Hunter, 51, and Smith, 56, both of North London, deny fraudulent trading and possessing an article for fraud. The case continues. The most popular dating site of this month for singles and personals. Check out the link in description box below.